to me. Come on, baby. What the heck? Look at that. Good morning. This is William Dela Cruz Jr., your host on our very first podcast episode of Living with Intention. Energy of Intention. Before we begin, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. This is something that I've always wanted to execute. I want to empower our walks of life to a platform that restores the life within everyone. And that's what I want Live More to be. Yes, it's a health and wellness brand, but it's way more substantial than that. Way more. And not to get on the tantrum here already, because we have an incredible show for you today, but it's important. People are your greatest assets in life. A wise man once told me, you never know what you can give that person or what that person can give to you. Maybe there's one word that you told him or her that prevented that person from killing themselves. Same thing vice versa. That's why it's so important to communicate. It's vital to dive in in conversation and just get weird and deep. And I don't mean weird in a sexual way for you freaks out there. Or telling your personal stories in that matter. I mean speaking in depth about what makes you, you. The music you listen to, the food you eat, the language you speak and where it generates from. And that's the key to racism, ladies and gentlemen. That's the key. As cliche and simplistic as it might sound, with everything going on, it's important that we make that a principle that you stand by. Which leads to our topic for today, forging a principle. Forging a principle. What does forging a principle mean? What does that phrase mean to you? Why is it important and how can we use it to live with intention? Through our potential for a more prosperous, healthy, and adventurous life. Using those trials and errors as experience. If you're listening now, if you're listening right now, you have a pen and paper. I just want you to jot these things down that I'm about to tell you right now. There are three basic principles that come to mind when forging or establishing a principle. First off, what is a principle? A principle is something you stand by. That's it. Let's keep it simple. For example, a principle of mine is wearing clothing when I go outside. Now, why and how is it important? One, it's a common social norm to me, right? And two, I do not want to suffer the consequences that may come if I don't wear clothing. Now, that's a more exaggerated example because it's a principle that most of us stand by. However, it's important because it establishes a fine line of a norm you built, a norm you created, a habit that you follow. And the greatest thing of all is that you can change or adapt that norm or that principle anytime. You can change it anytime you want to. So the three basic principles you should follow, you should focus on when forging your principles is one, personal responsibilities. What are personal responsibilities? I break that down into principles and priorities like bills, for example. So let me retract. The first basic principle is personal responsibility, which falls under the tree of forging in principles. So what are personal responsibilities? They are a priority, like bills, for example. Two, habits, which I further break down into daily obligations or rituals. So if you're writing this down, first bullet point should be forging a principle and you jot that down in the tree. One is personal responsibility. Two is habits. Three is time, which I break down into social media and transportation components. Now, before I give you examples of these different pillars that fall under the tree forging a principle, let's retract. All right. Let's organize ourselves. A principle is a tool that's a basis of personal responsibility, habits, and time that are essential when you are forming a foundation of what you want to do or the things you would like to accomplish. For example, a personal responsibility routine for me is jotting down a to-do list before my bed hits the pillow that night. Another responsibility for me is picking out the clothes that I will wear for that next day. Now, it may sound weird to some 
right? It may sound weird to some because it's not a habit or a norm for them. But for me, it's a priority. It helps me. And it falls under the overall tree of what is a principle to me. So why is organizing and planning important to me? Because the next morning, it will allow me more time to execute my daily ritual and priority. An example of ritual for me is working out, running, or meditating. Which personally is essential. It's essential that I get my daily dopamine and endorphin, endorphins. Or else I won't feel the same spiritually, mentally for that day. I won't feel, I feel like something will be missing, right? A daily obligation example is not picking up the phone the first hour of my day. Yo, this does wonders. Wonders for me eternally. I save time by not distracting myself from social media or political trendy news before I'm ready to tackle on the day. Before my mind and body is ready to absorb and take on the energies it may bring me. Finally, by knowing your responsibilities for that day, whether the responsibilities may be bills or spending time with your kids, while having to account your daily ritual and obligation, like meditation or exercise, will save you time, which you can then use for transportation or developing a new hobby. That could be as simple as listening to a podcast on the drive to work, per se. Instead of listening to the same songs you probably listen to, which I'm, I'm guilty of as well. And I know I, just, I know I just threw a lot at you. Feel free to pause, take a second, and absorb it all in. All right? There's no rush. Feel free to pause, absorb it, and take it all in. These are my principles. These are my foundation to what keeps this machine going every day. This now leads me to introduce my guest today, which has developed to be one of my very good friends today. And is one of the coolest, most down-to-earth guys I have been honored to meet. And I'm not just saying that. My guest today is Altony Williams, all right? So I'm going to call him now. I'm going to call him now before I just go on another tantrum. And we're going to get the show started. Hey, brother. Who's this? Who's this? Is this is this my big bro? <laughs> you know it. You know it. What's going on, though, bro? Oh, man. What's what's going on with you, man? We, I miss you. I miss you. This has been a long time. It's been way too long. Man, it's been too long. It's good to hear your voice, brother. Listen, it's great yeah, to hear bro. your voice, brother. Listen, we're live right now. We're live. Uh, first of all, I want to I want to thank on, you everybody? for. I'm sorry. Other what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Listen, a lot. Too much has been going on, you know. And right now, we're speaking about uh, forging a principle. We're speaking about uh, what priorities you have in your life, you know, that yeah. will be essential for your foundation or, or whatever you're trying to do. And I was just giving a little introduction for the people that don't know who you are, you know, and. Uh, I, I just want to say you're one of the coolest, most down-to-earth guys I have ever met, and I've been honored to meet, and I'm not just saying that, bro. Uh, uh, for those that, for those who don't know who uh, El Tony, people, oh, there's another thing. You know, people say El Tony. His name is just fluent. It's, it's El Tony. He's not only a loving son, but he's a writer, he's a director, he's a producer. My big bro is... One of the leading actors for the lead hit show, Tyler Perry's If Loving You Is Wrong. He has appeared in several other hit shows like Designated Survivor, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and True Detective. And very humbly, I have him here as our first guest star here today, live from California. It's three hours. It's, it's, it's a, what, what time is it over there? Like 11 a.m., yeah, 12 a.m.? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's three hours before. It's uh, yeah, about noon right now. Getting there, so yeah, not too bad, about Okay. Uh, what time is it there? What right now it's you? about three three p.m. Three 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 ten. Yeah yeah. Yeah three ten. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. It's good time. It's, uh, sun's up. You know it's beautiful out here. You guys got some beautiful weather out there too now. Yes yes but, it's gorgeous you know and and it's it sucks you know with everything going on we we have to adapt to new things and we have to make it worthwhile because you know you're out and by ten p.m. everything is closed you know <laughs> and it's right. summer it's summer. Right. You know? I forgot to mention, by the way, yeah. uh, uh, your biceps could probably make his own podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, right about now, I'm 
around there's not much else to do so you know I'm out there hitting the, hitting the weights a little bit okay. I'm trying to keep it right keep it tight you know that, that's one of the one of the one of the principles of it all oh man yeah. you said it best you said it best and before we ask, we answer some questions sent by our supporters I I know some are probably wondering how we met I remember like yesterday It must have been It must have been 70 degrees out bro It was a beautiful day In New York yeah. City And I see this jacked up dude Jacked up dude Looking up Looking left Stopping He looks lost Looking down Looking right Stopping And I, I, I think I gave you directions Right And uh, yeah. I gave you directions And all I remember like yesterday All you were looking for Was a gym Right This dude We're talking he, you, you told me you had like a 7 hour delayed flight Anyone else would go out and probably chug margaritas or something. Uh, but you, all you were looking for was a nice gym in the city, which shows a lot about your mindset, your work ethic, and who you are. And um, Brother. <laughs> Do you remember, you remember that, that day? So funny, man. That's <laughs> I remember. Yeah, man, I was just walking around. I mean, yeah, I've been to New York like a couple times, so I'm walking around in Manhattan, and I'm like, man, I, I was looking up. I'm like, I don't know what they say. Like, somebody mentioned something about a gym that was open that I could go to, and I had, you know, a little time limit. And I'm trying to get there, trying to rush around and get there. And I'm like, hey, you weak buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably know where a gym is. <laughs> oh, man. You had a great workout that day. You invited me over to the workout, and then it just took over yeah. from there. Right. I'm like, all right, look, look, come on, biceps. <laughs> Oh man, oh, but now I don't want to take up your entire day. Uh, so let's get down to the nitty and gritty of this podcast, which is listening to you speak. Yeah. Supporters, by the yeah. way, listening loud live, uh, they, could, they could ask away, DM your questions on this topic. Uh, yeah, we are speaking about forging a principle, and as a dedicated actor and well recognized public figure in Hollywood, what does the term? Forging a principle mean to you, and what are some of the things that you stand by in in your line of work? Yeah, I got you, man. That's a that's a really good question, bro, um, and a, a very important question. You know, I know you're it's all about positivity and and you know spreading that to people. And I think with forging a principle, um, it's, it's very individualized. First of all, um, you know what might be principles for me is going to be different than what's principles for you, and so on. You know, so. Um, but I think it's very important. For, principles are kind of like your guiding force. You know, you're kind of um, your, your blueprint for what you do on a day to day basis, and month to month basis, yearly yearly basis. You know how you live your life. You know these are things that guide me. You know if I um, what what I think is important. You know do's and don'ts. You know mm. um, like like, like you know, we, we already talked about fitness. You know um, one of the biggest things, I guess, in my life and, and from what we tell in your life as well is, uh, is, is health, health and fitness. You know, they always say mind, body, spirit, right? Yes. Body is, is a very important one and it's not for, you know, it's not for vanity reasons. Um, and, you know, for some people it might be and maybe that's, a, maybe that's a principle for you, you know? Uh, you want to look good but it's all about, you know, um, you have the health, you know, having the temple together. I, I, and, um, I love what you said do's and don'ts uh it reminds me of that term uh where hammers or nails you know sometimes we yeah. just get up in the morning and we wander off not having a destination a reason of living and you either wake up with intention to do it or you, you or you or you don't right yeah, but that's and that's so important man it's, it's, it's all about how you wake up you know you wake up slow and groggy and just oh, i don't want to get out of bed and what am i gonna do it's hot outside it's cold outside you know that that slows you down. That 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 stops your intention. You know, puts roadblocks in, in front of yourself. Mm. Versus one of your principles is like get up, get the day started. You know, that energizes your soul, and uh, um, they jump jump starts your your whole day, your whole life. Really. Oh, that's as well said. It energizes your soul, um, and <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. You know, um, and, and there's just principles in how you how you want to interact with people, your relationships. You know, so, um, so if you have significant other mother father you know just, just your friends in general just the way you want to treat them you know you want to, the way you uh, you know just when the way you want to get it back is just a principle you're like I won't ever say ABC I won't ever say these things to bring down the people I love you know I won't even say these things 
these terrible things to bring down the people who I don't love, who I don't even wow. like. You know, I there's there's I think that's one thing cause that comes back to you. Yeah, you know, like they, they exactly. say that, but that's true. Okay, because you don't know what that person has been through, you don't know what that person is going through now, right? Those experiences 100%. make them unique. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, and I find for myself, um, you know, when I'm when I'm building up others, you know, it builds me up. Wow. So um, if I can if I can sow those seeds into the world, sow those seeds into other people, um, and just like you said, you never know what they're going through. That's a great thing to keep in mind. Because just because you know oh, someone looked at me the wrong way, or or, or or someone even if it's built over over years, the way they treat you, you know what? I can you know I can still be a positive influence to them, and and even if it's not, I mean ho- hopefully it is. Hopefully it changes. That maybe they don't think about it right then, but maybe you know six years down the road, fifteen years down the road, they remember a moment you said something to them that, that sparked a whole change in their life. You know? Oh man, that's in- that's, that's incredible. Yeah. I I love how you how you said that. I I love how you said that. Uh, you, by you helping them, you're helping yourself. You know, and and that's 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 key. You're you're saying that. Listen, I'm not. Uh, there's something missing within me if if I don't help this individual. There's there's a spark that I need in my own life. And uh, we, I think we spoke about it a little earlier before I called you, mentioning that uh, your greatest assets in life are people. You know, and you never know what that person is going through. Maybe there's one word. That you told me that changed my whole life and the way I look at things. Mm-hmm. Right, right, exactly, hundred percent, man. You know, you never know. Like, you know, it may, may or may not have been the case. You know, when we first met, you know, that was some years ago now. And then you know, yeah, you remember that? You know, I was, you know, oh, I was just walking, you know, yeah, lost, and you know, a great friendship came out of it. You yeah. know, just because you know, because you were like, hey, you look hell lost. <laughs> Let me help you out. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, oh man, it's that you well said and uh not to take too much more of your time. We have two questions by our supporters. Um mm-hmm. one f- a question from Sydney, live from Rome. She asks you Hey, what's going on, Sydney? Hey, I hope maybe she's maybe she's commenting right now. <laughs> uh, she asks you, Is there anything that you do as an actor, writer, prior to reading a script or getting ready to film? Interesting. Mm. The things I do, I guess. So in, in preparing for for a role, um, like the first thing you do, which actually which brings me to one of your one of my principles I brought up, um, and you talk to the mind, body, spirit, is, is you got to get your mind right. You know, mm. so um, if there's cer- certain roles, like man, no matter what what role it is that you're approaching, um, it has to come from from a, a genuine, authentic place within you. You know, even if, if there's a role, um, even if it's, it's so far from you, but my role in, in if loving you is wrong is completely different than the person I am. You know, he's kind of he's bad, not kind of, he is a bad guy, you know. It's yes, just, yes. <laughs> has, you know, he's just a very bad guy. And he just says, you know, just the way his mind works. But I have to think of it approaching it as an actor, as an artist. Um, I just have to approach it being like, okay, this is a person. Yes, character, and he, but but he he he's a person to the viewer. So okay. what I can think, think about what experiences he may have gone through in his life, and what are his uh, intentions, or what are the things that, that brought him to to have his objective per you know per day per episode whatever it is. So you have to get that right. Get get yourself into the character, um, and just kind of just um, and you have to relax because being you know having too much uh, energy that's all over the place. Uh, it will just get in your way, and I think that's just good in life. Just to just just you just got you got to relax, center yourself, and get your get your mind right. And just be like, all right, I'm ready for this, and just ease into it, just flow, just be easy, flow into it. Wow, I like that. So basic, so one principle you would say you have is getting your mind right. That's a foundation before yeah. you actually uh, read the script. You gotta get into the character. I love how you said uh, you don't know what that that person that experience. Is going through so you as a character uh in, in in loving you is wrong you have to get into that character as if that was you and it takes a it, it takes a lot of not only consistency but uh a, a lot of a, a lot of soul power because you have to find yeah. that within you like i'm not you know I, i'm i'm not Eltony anymore i'm i'm this person right you know right exactly 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 i mean what you know what makes what makes you know the characters it's Randall, we use him as an example. Mm-hmm. What makes Randall, you know, tick on a daily basis? You know, what you just, just got to really just, just um, make sure I'm not, I'm not playing at these qualities of this character, 
and you really come to it, come at it from a from, from a real place inside, just the way just the way you live your life normally. You know, oh. just with these other, other guys' experiences. Ladies love Randall. <laughs> 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 I love to hate him, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh man! No, you, you guys haven't seen it. You better go. Just, just watch, <laughs> watch him, ladies. That's another story. Uh, and gentlemen, too. Uh, question number two. Uh, from Michael from New Jersey. Last question of the day. Uh, yeah. I'm a huge fan. I wanted to know what is your main principle in life. So he says, Elton, I'm a huge fan. I wanted to know what is your main principle. In life, wow, it's it's a good one to end mm. on. Yeah, that's a, that's a great one. That's a great one to end on. It's so my main principle in life. Um, you know, I think we touched on it a little bit. Cause it, you know, there's a, a few guiding principles you know, for me, but it's always been you know this this kindness, really. You know, I um I think that 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 goes so so far, and I think we don't realize it. You know, I think I think. Um, being being kind like does something so much for another person, people you are, you know, you're in touch with, and also for yourself. So if, if there's this, it kind of creates this, this cloud of, of vulnerability around you, like mm-hmm. this force field, if you will, that where where things don't, things just bounce off of you. They don't affect you. So negative things can't they can't enter your soul. They can't enter your atmosphere because you're already protected. You're protected with with kind of with the, the kindness that you show and the love kind of love force field that you have around you, right? So um, when there's you know things going on, things going on in the world right now, stuff you see on the news or just people you come in contact with, you know, you know, you're something happened at the bank today. You, you're not affected by it. It's not bringing you down, affecting your whole day and your soul because you're just you have this cloud around you, and people see that and they experience it, and and it and it, and it brings them up. And just, I think, generally, in the world today, in, in the world always, I think, I think that's what's gonna, gonna, gonna keep us, keep us whole, keep us uh, protected, and, and just bring us all up together. So I really think being kind and having that love around you, it, it's a force. Field. Anytime some negativity comes at you, it bounces right off. You got, you got to make sure, but you got to actively do that per day. You got to actively make sure that that you're you're keeping that in mind. And, and um, keeping that love for you, know, that kindness about you, so things can't affect you, no matter how hard they try. Wow, that's powerful, man. I could listen to you all day. You said so much good <laughs> things there: vulnerability, kindness, yeah. genuinency. I mean, it, it's basically, it's it's you. It, you're not pretending to be yeah. nobody else, and that's and that's your your foundation. That's your uh, priority, your principle. That every day your kindness, right. every day. You're genuine, so it's it's not a make believe, you know, and uh, yeah. and and I think that's uh that's power, that's powerful because I I believe everybody mm-hmm. has a gift in life, everybody, yeah, the gift of kindness, Absolutely. the gift of love, the gift of of, uh, of freedom, and it's up mm-hmm. to us and our life and our experiences, the people we have met, the trials and errors that have been put in our life, to understand right. those things and then uh, learn from them and develop and uh. That's well said, man. Absolutely, well absolutely, said. man. And I love, man. I love what you're doing. You know, you're, you're constantly spreading the positivity and putting the words out there, and, and people hear that. And um, you know, well, you, you you do that for me. It's oh, one thing I, I love. You want to see your post or when I talk to you, you know, you just you just you just flow that in you. You know, the positivity and, and, and you know, um, thank you, you know, Lord. It means a lot. Yeah. It means a lot. Listen. Mind the spirit, man. Thank you. You're you're great, and I'm not just saying that. You know, I know. I I also know you have some major projects coming up. You know that we can't talk about here, or or, or can't we? What's what's yeah. what, what what what's what's the scoop? I mean, <laughs> I'm so uh, <laughs> in a nutshell. I'll just make it real quick. After uh, you know, doing a lot of uh, work uh, with producing and uh, writing and producing uh, things myself, um, and stuff that I've, I've come up with uh, over the last few years, and. Um, we're in the process right now of uh, pre-production and getting uh, get one of my first uh, feature films out there. So uh, that's what you know, most of my most of my interest has been in right now, and it's it's been awesome. It's a process, you know, producing, talking to people all over the all over the world, and getting things together. But it's it's awesome, and it's uh, you know it's coming up. So 
I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm 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 excited to see it and, and watch it transform. You know, Rome was a buzz in the day, yeah. and the fact that you know that, and the yeah, fact yeah. that. Every day is a process, as you said. It's incredible. Uh, uh, where where can su- your supporters find you? Are you on Facebook, Instagram? Where where can they contact you and, and see that transformation? Yeah. So, uh, right. So, uh, so from Instagram mainly, it's um, at Elthony Williams, E L T O N Y Williams um, is where they can follow me and you know contact me through there. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, you can probably just look up the same. You <laughs> can find me or or my dad, you know, so uh, I think there, there might be a few, a few people out there who have tried to use, <laughs> use my name <laughs> and my pictures, but I'll be the one with the most dollars, <laughs> I guess. Got you. So, yeah, that's probably something you can Oh, man, but, listen. Yeah, man. You know, follow, follow him on at L. Tony Williams. You can find him on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff on YouTube. All that. Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, brother. It's coming yeah. from the bottom of my heart. You, you gave us some of your time. You shared it with us. Your insights, your perspective, and experiences on how you forge your life, and I hope, Absolutely. I hope others can take that and emulate some of you and make that their own. You know, make that their intention every day. And I'll end it with this, um, this quote by a wise man, David Brinkley. He said, "A successful man is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks others have thrown at him." Which, if you're a wise man. You'll, you'll, you will listen to those who have walked that path that you want to walk, whether it's becoming an actor, a director, or an athlete, or even a doctor. You name it. If you want to live that life that person is living, commit to the principles that that person is living and has lived. And yeah. I guarantee yeah. you'll be there. Uh, Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> and that's a wrap. I thank you for those who have... Uh, who have listened and tuned in you know please rate please share it really does help for this movement to prosper and uh god bless you big bro god bless you all uh and i thank you once again thank you for having me on man it's been it's been awesome it's awesome sharing this with you and chat it up with you and uh help spread your positivity bro i appreciate what you're doing god bless you brother love you more love you more god bless you first one down in the books my big brother elton e williams we're out Peace. Hey, y'all, go out there and live more, man. Live more. Right, live more, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Later, All right, brother. Later. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our first one down. Uh, again, God bless you all for tuning in. Please like. Please share. Please comment. And until next time, live more. Live with a purpose. Peace. Peace.